Hello and welcome back to my playthrough of GMT's Tripack Battles of the American Revolution. This is the start of Turn 8. If you remember from last time, it was disastrous for the Americans. They lost Swampy. Swamp Fox was captured. And as such, did an aggressive attack against the Brits, pushing them back and advancing forward which I neglected to do in the last video after the, uh, the close combat. Uh, that hex was vacated by the 64th and so the lead unit should have moved in. Sorry about that, I've just done it now, there we are. That's those darn Maryland brigades. So the first thing to do in this turn is to see who has the initiative. Here we go with the initiative, but this time things are a little different. The Brits have high morale, so have plus one added to their die roll, but the Americans are fatigued and on their way down to wavering, so they don't get any bonus to this initiative roll. So let's see what happens. Three, that's four, zero. The Brits get it. So the first thing to do in the movement phase for the Brits is to move any disrupted units and they have a disrupted unit here which they will move one hex that way now it's the movement proper so once again I shall have a think and get back to you okay the Brits have moved again it's still a pretty precarious situation for the Brits but I've moved Coffin up. I think what the Brits are going to do is to have these two stacks to try and, and take out the Maryland Brigade. And say so the bane of the Brits. I've left this up here as is. Um, I'm a bit concerned about Lee's Legion in case it gets rallied. So I'm leaving these out, hopefully, to deal with it, to maybe move around. Let's see what happens. OK, it's the rally phase for the British. The Brits have one unit they can try to rally, and that is the poor old Delancey unit there. They have a morale of zero. They are high morale, so they need a five or more. Here we go. Nine. Oh, they are rallied. And get a plus one. Their army morale is now up to 14. Next, defensive fire phase. So here... The Americans have Gaines's artillery and they can attack. They're going to go for Skinner's Greens, I think. I think they are, yes. Yes. So they are one hex away. They have a one SP. That is seven to hit. Anything else on the combat DRMs? No. Seven to hit. Here we go. Six is no good. Rifle fire phase. Here we've got the South Carolina militia rifles bravely standing their ground and firing into the building. So they're going to have another go at the Grenadiers. They have a SP of 1. It is a 7 to hit, but those Grenadiers are in the one toot plantation house, so it's a minus 2. Oh, so they do need a 9 to hit. Here we go. No, it's a 7. But worth a shot, as I keep saying. Now it's close combat. We'll stay up here as we're going to do the Grenadiers against the rifle unit. So it is 
one to one. The lead unit is, of course, the Grenadiers with a plus two. Any other DRMs? Oh, defending unit is a rifle unit. I may have missed that out last time, not sure. All defending militia are attacked by at least one non-militia. It's another plus one. Maybe South Carolina's militia's days are numbered. I think that might be it. There's no leader adjustment because Stuart has a, a leader DRM of zero. The militia have a morale of zero, but they are fatigued. So that goes down to minus one. So it's another plus one. I think that's it. Tactics. Brits are attacking with a leader. Opponent has no leader. Is flank possible? No, we're saying no on this, aren't we, in the house? Withdraw plausible, yes, table three. D8. Six, attack on echelon. The Americans, they can withdraw, of course, so it's table one, D8. Seven, skirmish. Attack on Echelon, Skirmish. It's a minus one, so that's something at least. The Brits are attacking with two, three, four, five, a plus four on the one to one. Let's have a look how the poor old South Carolina militia rifles fare. No, oh dear. Nine, one to one. Oh, it's disrupted. Okay. And they're going back. Well, that's awkward for them. They've got to go back this way. One. I assume there's no terrain costs. Well, they can go here. One, two, three. I think that's right. And one of them. And because of that uh, disrupted token, Americans lose another army morale. They are down to six. Right, let's have a look at the other close combat. So the two combats we're looking at is this against this with a diversion on that one and March Banks' stack against this one. Let's look at the odds. We've got three, four, five, six, seven. Seven against three, which I think is two to one, but because we are doing a diversion on this stack, that goes down to three to two. Lead unit. Oh dear. Not much there. I think we'll use the 64th. That has a zero morale, so nothing to add. But Coffin does have a one combat DRM. So we put that on there. Any other DRMs? I dare say I've missed tons of these, but I can't see any. And as always, apologies. I'm learning this game. So we'll see how we go. I don't think so. Right. Defenders. Right. Americans lead unit. That darned Maryland Brigade. They have a plus two morale. But because the Americans are fatigued, that gets reduced by minus one. So the Brits get a plus one. They don't have a leader. I don't think there's any DRMs. No. So it's tactics. 
Let's see if we can get it right this time. Now, they are adjacent. Well, they're actually attacking, so they're going to be involved. But green is adjacent to the defending unit, so lead, leader tactics can be applied to both sides, I think. Engage with a leader. Yes, opponent has a leader. Yes for tactics. Flank possible. No. They're all... Hmm, no, I don't think so. Withdraw. Plausible. Yes, table seven. Let me just check that. Yep, table seven. That's a D6. Two. Stand fast. All the Brits digging their heels in. Now the Americans. Gauge with a leader. Opponent has leader. Flank not possible. Withdraw plausible. Table seven. Four. Skirmish. Stand fast, skirmish. It's another plus one. Oh dear. I've just realised that that shouldn't be a plus one. It should be a minus one. For the uh, Maryland Brigade. Sorry about that. So, it is... Three to two with a plus one. Let's put it up there. Three to two with a plus one. Let's have a look. Eight. With a plus one is a disruption. That unit is disrupted. One, two, three. There's nothing else in that hex. The 64th move in. No, I don't think we'll move anything else in. Right. And because of that disrupted unit, they lose another morale. Army morale, and they move down to five. They are teetering on wavering. Crikey. Let's have a tidy up and we'll look at the other combat. So, the next combat is March Banks against this stack. Let's look at the odds. We have two. Six against three. That's a two to one, I believe. Lead unit. Light infantry, I think it's going to be. Yes, light infantry plus two. March Banks gives a plus one. I don't think there's any other DRMs. No, I don't think so. So, Americans. Ooh, minus one, mi minus one. So they'll have to use, I think they use the new, now I'll tell you what they'll use, just in case. We'll use, oops, with Palmetto Foot. As the lead unit, they do have a minus one morale. So that is minus two because of army morale. Yeah, so that's a plus two. No other additions. Tactics. They're both, well this has a leader. He's adjacent, so they're both Using tactics with a leader. Engage with a leader. Opponent has a leader. Yes. Flank possible. Well, I think that's free. So yes. Withdraw plausible for the Brits. Yes. Table nine. Oops. D8. Or oh, six. Commit reserve. 
I think it's the same for the Americans. Engage with a leader, opponent has a leader, flank possible, yes, withdraw plausible, yes, nine. Seven. Turn flank. What have we got this time? Commit reserve, turn flank. It's a plus one. What are the Americans thinking of? Okay, two to one. With a two, three, four, five, six. Crikey. Two to one with a six. It's a six. Six and six is 12 on the two to one. That's right down the bottom. See, the Americans have run out of momentums as well. Captured. Attacker's choice. So I think we will have you, my friend, as you're the uh, stronger unit, you're captured. That uh, Palmetto foot has to check for morale. If it fails, it will be disrupted. If it passes, it will retreat, I believe. Yes, and they've got a minus one morale and a minus one from being fatigued. So that's a minus two. Five or more, minus two. Five minus two is three, no. One, two, three. And disrupted. Oh dear, I forgot. Well, the Americans, sorry, the British get another momentum. And the Americans have two disrupted units. Crikey, they're down to three, they're wavering. Blimey. Well, all that's left to do is to have the Brits move in. Oh, and that's the end of the Brits go. It's looking bad for the Americans. Let's see what they can do. Sorry, Americans. I forgot that they had a captured unit. And as such, the army morale is plus one for the Brits, minus one, another minus one for the Americans. The Brits are at full whack. So, dear, oh dear, two more. And they, they've lost. So, as I say, let's see what the Americans can do in turn eight. So the Americans, movement phase, first part of which is disrupted units may move one hex. I'll move these back, I'll move this one back. Let's see if we can try and rally those in a moment. There's only a couple of turns left and I'm not sure, I haven't worked it out what the victory points are. I don't like to do that until the end. So I've only played this uh, a couple of times and again I do like to keep myself in suspense about the victory points so we're going to keep those there I think what I'm going to do during the movement phase uh, we'll see uh, this one can move here whoops that's Lee's Legion horse and what about the poor rifles oh well let's be brave let's move them across here Right, I think that's it. Now it's the movement proper. I'll have a think. Not that there's much to think about. And get back to you. There we are. What have I done? I've just pulled them back. I'm hoping we can rally these uh, units. I've pulled... I wanted to pull this back here, but I couldn't because there's... Oops, there's a uh, artillery unit here. If I can get it. And they've only got a movement of three, so I've come round this way, one, two, three, because it takes two to get through them woods. So that's it, and I want, I don't want it to be on its own, and I want everybody else to stay together. So, next, let's be positive, next, it's the rally phase. We have some units here. 
and we've got two over here. Let's do these first. Let's try, what do we got here? Pitkin Sumter and Palmetto Foot. Right. They are wavering now, the Americans. They've got a minus two off their unit morale. Ah, oh, so Pitkin's Sumpter are zeros. Hope we can see that. Light's a bit funny here in merry old England. Today we've got gale force winds, rain, and no light. So <laughs> zero, minus two. Five or more with a minus two. They throw a one. No, they do not rally. The, pick, uh, the Palmetto foot, they've got a minus one, so it's going to be five with a minus three. They throw a three, and that is no good. So they stay disrupted. Oh, no. Let's try these. Maryland Brigade, the bane of the Brits. They've got a plus two morale and a minus two army morale, so that's that cancels out, so it's five. Five or more. No! What's Green gonna do? He has no units. They stay disrupted. What about these? Let's look at the rifle unit. Rifle unit has a morale of zero, but minus two because of the wavering army morale. Two. Oh. And then lastly, Lee's Legion. They do get a a plus one, but it's minus two, so it's a minus one on their morale. Two! What is going on? Nothing rallies. And I was hoping to get some of them rallied so their morale could go up. Oh. Defensive artillery phase is next. So... The Brits have a pop at the rifle units. They have a SP of two, uh, no, yes, of two. They are two away, so they need an eight. So the rifle unit might be okay. There's no other, other adjustments. No, eight. Oh, oh, nine. Oh, dear. Right. So, on the artillery fire, non-artillery, just to remind you, we haven't seen it for a bit, this bit here. So, let's see what damage they do to the rifles. No, I don't believe... Nine. That's a step loss. That's it, that's their lot. They are eliminated. And they get another army morale movement downwards. They are on one. Well, what can I say? I'm sounding a bit depressed, the poor old Americans. So that's that. Rifle fire phase, no, there's no rifles left on the board, on the map. So it is now close combat. But actually, there is nothing, because the Americans pulled back, there is nothing to attack. So that is the end of the disastrous turn for the Americans. Well, what about that? A bad turn for the Americans. There is one small consolation, though. I did a miscalculation with the army morale track. For the Americans and they're actually on two not one 
So there's hope, he says. OK, let's do turn nine. And the first thing we do is throw for initiative. The Brits have got high morale, so they get a plus one to their initiative roll. And the Americans are wavering, so they actually get a minus one to their initiative. Let's see how they do. Oh dear. Eight. Minus one. The Brits have it. The Brits have the initiative and go first. And it's the movement phase. There are no disrupted units for the British to move. So, movement proper. I'll do my usual thing and have a think and then I'll get right back to you. So the Brits have moved. Marchbanks and Coffin have advanced up to this unit here which they're going to attack and there's going to be a diversion on this stack. De Lancey and the 64th foot have moved up to attack this stack. Bit of a token attack I think because uh, they may be outnumbered but the Brits can smell blood, they can taste victory. Because look what's happened here. Stuart, he's run out the house with the Grenadiers. And the second Royal Highlanders and the artillery to attack Lee's Legion horse. So, no units for the British to rally and so it is defensive artillery phase. And that happens here. Gaines's artillery is going to attack one of these. I think he'll attack the 64th foot. So, on the range fire to hit table, they have one SP. They are adjacent, so they need a base roll of seven, but the 64th is in light forest and gets a minus one. The uh, artillery get a minus one to their roll, so they need a seven with a minus one. Here we go. Seven. Minus one is six. Oh, I thought we had it there. No, they miss. Rifle fire phase. Of course we've lost all the rifles. And now it's close combat. So the first close combat will be Marchbanks and Coffin against this stack with a diversion on this stack. So let's see what they've got. Two, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And here we've got Pitkin Sumter, but unfortunately disrupted units defend with only half their SPs. So half of three is one and a half. It gets rounded up, so that's two. Half of one is a half. Rounded up to one is one, yes. So that's three. Ten to three. And that is a three to one, but we're doing a diversion, so it goes down to two to one. Lead unit. I think we'll, whoops. I think we'll be the light infantry here with a plus two morale. These have a plus two morale. Plus two. Now we've got two leaders here. And as I said before, I think if they're on separate stacks, they apply their combat DRMs to those stacks. So we've got one here and one there. So that's another plus two. Any other attacker benefits DRMs? Let's have a look. Any defending unit is disrupted or shattered. We've got two of them. Plus one each. Now it's the defenders. Who's their lead unit? So 
It's going to have to be Pitkin Sumter, I think. They've got a morale of zero, but the army morale is wavering. So they get a minus two on their unit morale. So that is another plus two. Don't think there's anything else. Tactics. Engage with a with a leader. Yes, the the Brits are. Opponent has no leader. Is flank possible? Well, we're attacking here and here. So this one here, flank is possible. Withdraw plausible. Yes, table five. Oops. So table five is a D10. Let's see what we get. Nine. Turn flank. For the Americans. Engage without a leader. Withdraw. Plausible. Yes. Table one. D8. Seven. Skirmish. Minus one. Well done, the, the Americans. Minus one. So, what have we got? Two, four, six, eight, minus one is seven. So we've got two to one with a plus seven. Good grief. Eight plus seven is lots. On the two to one, that's right down the bottom. Captured, Tacker's Choice. So, we're going to have you, my friend, Pitkin Sumters. You are captured. And because of that, the other unit has to make a morale check. If they pass, they retreat. One hex. If they fail, they get disrupted again and become shattered. They have a minus one morale. And they have to take off another two because they are wavering. So that's a five or more with a minus three. Six minus three is three. No, they get shattered and go back. Whoops. And go back three. One, two, three. Shattered. They get a disrupted result again. They are eliminated. But they can do very little when you're shattered. Now we have to do the dreaded army morale adjustments. So we had a capture. Plus one, minus one. Brits can't go up anymore. The Americans are down to one. And I think, I think that's game over. Because they were disrupted again. Because that unit became shattered. Suffer D. Minus one. They are demoralised. And have lost the game. Well, boys and girls, I don't know about you, but uh, that was fantastic fun to play. I hope you thought so too. So that's the end. Unfortunately, for some of you, not the result you would have wanted. But it's a game. And it's a great game. We have reached the end of a playthrough of GMT's Tri-Pack Battles of the American Revolution. And this one's been Utah Springs. And remember, there's three other battles in this uh, tri-pack. And this is the smallest of the three, I think. And this has been great fun. If you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing, pushing the like button of the video and the bell. Leave a comment by all means. It helps the little channel no end at all. And as always, thank you so much to my subscribers. Thank you. So until the next one, 
You take care and goodbye. <laughs>